Welcome to Problems and Solutions. Today, we'll solve problem 29 of chapter 22 of Fundamentals of Physics. The figure here shows in part A a non-conducting rod with a uniform distributed charge Q. The rod forms a half, half circle with radius R and produces an electric field of magnitude E at its center of curvature, point P. Okay. If the arc is collapsed to a point at distance R from P, part B of the figure, by what factor is the magnitude of the electric field at P multiplied? Okay, let's solve the problem, and to solve this problem, it's necessary only to compute the electric field of the arc, and then find the, the factor. But uh, the problem, of course, is to compute the electric field of the arc. And it's not so complicated. So let's start dividing the arc in small pieces. Each piece will produce part of the electric field. So here we have a small piece of the of the arc, and we know that the field it will be in the direction join the point to where is the, the charge. So here we have the direction and therefore we have an electric field in this direction. Okay, here let's use a standard. Okay. This is only the part of the field corresponding to the, the piece here, and here we have a part of the charge. So let's see. Here we have a charge, dQ, and here we have the E, a part of the electric field. We can write that this part of the electric field equals 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon 0, the part of the charge, the Q, divided by the distance R is squared, and, of course, a vector indicating the direction of the electric field. But in this case, we know already that the due to the symmetry of the problem, that the electric field will be in the horizontal direction. So we can project this electric field using an angle theta. So we can write that the E in the x direction equals here we can also change writing this part of the charge as a linear density multiplied by the distance here, the length of this part of the rod. That is R multiplied by the part of the angle. So we will integrate using the angle theta. So here we have lambda r d theta divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r squared. And as we are taking only the, the projection, it's necessary to multiply by cosine of theta. We can cancel this. Therefore, we will find 
that the electric field, the part of the electric field we are computing, equals lambda divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r cosine of theta d theta. And we will integrate this expression to obtain the electric field. Therefore, we will have the electric field in the x direction will be lambda divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r integrating cosine of theta d theta from pi minus minus pi divided by 2 to pi divided by 2 and we'll have the electric field will be lambda divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r oops, r and integrating cosine we'll find sine so here we'll have sine of theta from varying from minus pi divided by 2 to pi divided by 2. Let's write it here. And sine of pi divided by 2 is 1 minus minus 1 equals 1. Therefore, we have 2. So, we will find here we will find 2, so the result will be 2 pi epsilon 0 r. I didn't write the density, the charge density. The charge density, of course, is the total charge divided by the length of the rod. The length of the rod is r multiplied by p pi. So r multiplied by pi. Substituting here, we'll find q divided by 2 pi squared epsilon 0 r squared. Here is the electric field due to the rod. Now, we want to find a factor that will multiply we want to find a factor that will multiply the electric field in order to obtain the electric field in the second in the second situation here in the part b so let's say p here we have of course only a chart so the electric field here it will be of course in the horizontal direction also and the magnitude it will be 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 the charge divided by the distance squared therefore the factor we want to know it will be this term k divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r squared divided by this term that is 2 pi squared epsilon 0 r squared divided by q we cancel this we cancel this cancel this and 
we'll find, of course, the factor is pi. Okay, cancel here. So pi divided by 2. And that's it. Here we have the problem is solved.